what is going on everybody and this is going to be a unboxing I haven't done one in a while I've been pretty much saving up for some soon stuff um, got my knife um, now this book I really wanted to get let me see if I can place this like see if this would work right here bam there we go. Oh shit. <laughs> it happens. Alright. As long as everything's good, that's that's all happened to me. Okay. This is like I should do these unboxings outside of my closet. I probably would have a lot more room. Alright. Now how have you guys been doing? I've been I've been doing some I've been doing pretty good lately. I mean I've been there were some rough times, but I've been doing pretty well. A lot better than what I used to be doing, which is pretty good. In my book. Now I'm just trying to figure out what is going on with this tape right here. From what I'm seeing, this tape does not hurt the book, which is that's fantastic in my uh, but the book I got was Booster Gold, number one. First appearance of Booster Gold in the Skeets. I love these two characters. I think these two characters are pretty awesome together. Uh, let me get it out of here first, though. Let me try this, uh, this view again. See how this works. So far, so good. Yeah, but how are you guys been doing? Have you guys been getting any comic books that you guys really been wanting to get lately? Because I know the whole mar comic book market's all crazy now. You got people overpricing books. You got people speculating way too quick. That's why I didn't want to pick up this Booster Gold book. I don't know what exactly is saying. Oh, you're seeing. Oh, yeah, that's a cardboard. Is there anything else in here? Nope. All right, cool. All right, now let me just take. Oh, let me take the tape off of this book. Oh, I hate it when they put tape on the actual like bag. That makes me so skittish with this. Okay. But yeah, overall, I've been, I've been doing, I've been trying to find some books that I've really been like wanting. To get for a long time mostly um some big big keys like first swamp thing you're gonna have um well i think that's a big key in my personal opinion not many people would think that's a big key but i think i love swamp thing i think he's an amazing character and now instead of this view why don't we get to the actual book itself now let's just look at this should have bam right there do, 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 do. As a little, it has maybe a little defect right there. I think this is maybe a 9.6. If that little, if that little white spot right there, 9.6, maybe 9.4, 9.6, maybe 9.8, if I'm lucky. <laughs> but um, yeah, I love Booster Gold. Definitely a character that I uh, love. And um, what actually really got me into Booster Gold was um, the Justice League animated series. He had this one episode where it was called The Greatest Story Ever Told. And it was basically just about him and how he's basically, how he learns how to be a hero. Um, the, that's on Netflix. I think it's Justice League Unlimited. Uh, the first one, the first, I think it was like, yeah, it was like four seasons, I think. The, it had two seasons just the Justice League and then the Unlimited was when they expanded that's when they had um, Green, uh, Green Arrow uh, John Stewart all that oh and John Stewart was in it throughout yeah never mind I forgot they only used Hal Jordan like once and that was because there was a, a time a time mask yeah I think it was the time master episode where he kept on jumping through the time periods and changing up everything I'm kind of a bit annoyed that they never used how, like really use Al Jordan, but 
John Stewart did a fantastic job. So, um, but overall, I think this is a pretty good looking book. Um, I didn't pay what the prices are usually going. I like this book. I paid twenty eight, I think. So I think twenty eight is pretty good for like a near mint copy. Um, I seen what really got me to wanting to get this book was when I went to the Wizard World Con, and I saw it going for like two hundred bucks, and I'm like, why is my boy going for two hundred bucks? Like I know they said they got a script done for him, but that's just like way too much speculation right there. Like it's a, it's a nice book. Dan Jurgen's artwork, you know, that's, you know, it's nice, it's a nice cover, I just think that's a little bit too much for right now, but maybe down the road, I mean, I can see them totally doing, like, a Guardians of the Galaxy type movie with him, because he's funny as all hell, like, he's kind of like a Star-Lord in a way, but until he learns, you know, he gets a little bit better when he learns, you know, that he's an actual superhero instead of just doing it for money and fame, but... I mean, that's, that, that, that was basically him, like, he's just learning how to do it for, has it right there, dollar sign right there, but, um, yeah, Booster Gold's a good character, um, highly enjoy him, and Skeets, too, Skeets is a wisecracking little, I was gonna, I was gonna curse off a little bit, but I'm trying to keep it a little bit on the down, <laughs> on the down low, um, uh, but yeah, overall, I did have a little bit of a setup. I had to, I had to change it up just a little bit, though. Let's see. That's what the setup was. I had a Falcon exclusive pop. Um, Hot Topic exclusive. And then a uh, Ryan Ollie sketch. But, um, yeah, I got a top loader for this. And I'm going to put it in there. I'm going to pause the video and just put it in there see how it looks. I'll be back. And it looks beautiful. I really like the way it looks. This is gonna go right in here. Uh, this is definitely a book that I'll get graded. Um, now we're just gonna do a quick little update. Uh, Matt Ryan, the guy you may may not know him, the guy who plays Constantine, is going to the Heroes and Villains fan fest near me. So what I'm gonna do is, since I got the first Constantine, I'm gonna get that one signed by him and get it graded. So that's gonna be pretty cool. Um, other than that, I've been really trying to de like debate which other books that I want to get graded. I mean, grading books, you know, cost money, especially if they have like signatures and stuff. But um, thinking about yeah, thinking about doing that book, and then when the other books come back, I'm gonna see how the you know how that process went. Uh, if I like it a little bit more, I'm starting to become a little bit more uh, leaning towards grading books. So that's good. I mean, I was pretty against it. When uh, I was see uh, when I was uh, seeing how CGC was like treating my books, I know that was like a year ago by now, but I, that's still I got the grudge. I got the grudge. Um, but yeah, if you guys watched the video, thank you guys. I know it's a pretty long one. I had a little, it was a, <laughs> I kind of messed up a little bit on uh, actually unboxing it. I usually get down to it, but uh, this one I wanted to try something. Uh, yeah. And then it ended up, you know, almost falling. I think I almost tripped over myself, so that's as funny. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys have a good day. And uh, hope you guys collect the comic books that you love. You know, even if you're not collecting for, you know, even if you are collecting for a little bit. Speculation slash love, that's all good. Oh, wow. You know, I just realized in the back, was that in the back? They had stuff right there. I don't know what that is. I think it's like a coupon. I don't know. Huh. But uh wow, I get sidetracked way too much. Uh hope you guys hope you guys have a fantastic day. Peace out everybody.